And I know many of you guys have watched the uh, video of Shanquela and Dejanay. Dejanay uh, beating up Shanquela. And there's one part that I keep asking myself. I continue to ask myself uh, of why Dejanay. Dejanay is, is the, the, the other female that was beating up uh, Shanquela in the video. But I asked, I continue to ask myself, why did Dejanay ask Shanquela? Or say, not ask, but, but you can hear uh, Dejanay say it loud, I'm tired of this shit as she continues to beat up Shanquela. So for the people that, that uh, seen this video, some people are saying they don't know how it all began. They're saying that... Uh, they she woke her up the Dejanay uh, woke up Shaquilla and started beating her up some people say that um, they set her up it looks like it's early in the morning but if it was uh, that the case the case was that Dejanay and the friends went and woke up Shaquilla got her out of bed and um, you can see her you can't see her in this video blurred out but in the real video you can see that Shaquilla is naked um, so uh, the sister says that Shaquilla when she drinks um, this is alleged according to the articles that um, she she when she Shaquilla drank she went to bed uh, naked she took a shower went but i'm guessing like she went back friend the friends went back and woke her up and told her to get up and um because you can see get up and they're telling the shanquela is telling her oh uh, dejane is telling shanquela get up get up but i caught that part as she was beating up shanquela as dejane was beating up shanquela that she says i'm tired of this shit now like i asked myself what shit is she talking about right because usually when you tell somebody or you're pissed off at somebody and you tell them you say frustrated that you're tired of this shit it means that this person's been doing something. Now, could it this, whatever Shanquela do, whatever Shanquela do, did Janae, did this, was this what uh, started this whole thing? So let's uh, let's play the video. I want to know, let me know in the comment section, man. Let me know in the comment section. I'll play the video. It's not the the, um, the real video, but once again, you guys can, um, there we go. But right when you tell somebody that you're tired of this shit and you sound very frustrated, it means like it's something that not, not that they do right there and then, but it's something that, they continued. So I'm going to put the volume up uh, for you guys because I want to actually hear you guys' thoughts. So he here we go. This is the, the video. Okay. 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 Ok
maybe uh they already went through this if not um now a lot of people a lot of content creators out there um are really messing it up for everybody because um i think everybody wants to solve the case everybody wants justice but there's some people also to content creators that they want to be the first ones right they want to be the the oh i got the, the, the latest hottest let me put this post this post that you know and there's a lot of people that are posting a lot of uh, deceptive stuff, a lot of fake news, and that is not cool. There's a lot of people out there saying, "Oh, well, how come? Well, how come they haven't arrested them? How come they they're still walking around?" I mean, to be honest, when it, this is like a um, external case, because th that's what it is, you know. Uh, a lot of people are saying, "Oh no," but they shouldn't. They shouldn't um, do the trial down in Mexico. They should charge over here in America. The the whole the crime happened. Crime happen in, in mexico so it's uh it's a hundred percent for sure i think now this is what i think you know uh, that they're gonna be the trial's gonna be down in mexico first it has to it has to and people are saying like well how come uh they don't the the news they're not covering now i think it's kind of bullshit that the news big channels are not covering the case chinquela uh robinson case as you guys know she's not getting the gabby petito um treatment and may, may Gabby Petito rest in peace. And there's no disrespect to 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 the family loved ones, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? Like it's not getting not getting the same the same treatment as a, a full coverage. Uh, even with YouTubers, dude. Even even with YouTubers, it, it's it's crazy, man. Because uh, it's very few uh, true crime channels that I've seen. Um, one of them, a big, a big true crime channel that i seen that um co has covered this this news is 10 to life so big shout out to uh, i think her name is annie from 10 to life um i can't remember right now the, the other channels that are covering big channels you know most of them are uh, big channels but it's black youtubers or people of color uh kind of that, that word i don't i don't know that word people of color is kind of anyway but uh, but you know what i mean like they we are the only ones that are covering this case now i've been wanting to to cover this case a little bit more and, and talk about the whole thing more but there is no other news you know there, there's still the fbi is out there looking for 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 the other six friends that's all we know there's a reporter down from mexico uh, his name is gerardo uh, suñiga and he has came out in a couple of uh, youtube channels where he tells the, the the youtubers and in spanish and then they have a translator um to translate spanish to english and he's telling people what's going on over there uh in mexico on their side and it's very sad because in mexico uh i checked it is very few um, media that's covering this i checked i went as you guys know i speak spanish i even wanted to have or um, interview gerardo suñiga and i'll let you guys know uh, why um i did not interview him uh in a little bit but let me finish this um so but there's uh I, I, the only person that the only reporter as is out there like independent is that dude um, Gerardo Suñiga and um, there's other other TV outlets in in, in Cabo not in, in, in other other than uh, Baja California Sur uh, I think that that's the only state in Mexico that is covering the news and it's like whoa like what the hell but as you guys know you know Mexico is very corrupt there's a lot of violence but luckily luckily uh, they are Mexico Mexican authorities are gonna take action with this case they uh, requested the, the uh, for the FBI to to uh, uh, arrest the the six friends or the people that were involved and so they can be uh, set to trial down down in Mexico yo what's up bad Garcia how you doing I heard that um I heard that the kill woman that's why the media go and protect her you know what I, I also that's another thing also too that I heard that they were thinking that there's an Janae, the Janae uh, was was a trans woman. Uh, you and, can help and support this channel by donating. And that's that's what they were saying. Some people got, got. I noticed that some people were getting offended, you know, because um, for what I heard, um, um, the the I don't, uh, the people, the family and friends, um, they they debunked that she, the Janae, is a woman, but she looks kind of rough you know what i mean like you know what i mean like dejanate kind of looks kind of rough so i kind of like i don't know to me i was kind of like oh kind of like you know it kind of looks like she looks like a dude you know i'm not dissing over here no trans trans people or trans women but but um that was that's what everybody thought and i was not the only one i am not the only one that used to think or was thinking that a lot of people is the media that's the reason why a lot of people did the investigation and some people were mad because uh they found out they heard that the authorities down in mexico the workers the cops and everybody 
they thought De Janae was trans, 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 transgender woman. Um, and what the reason why they they thought that is because um, to, well, she was taking off on and off of her wig, so or wig, 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 yeah, to peluca. So that's not common in Mexico. People, okay, so there were some people saying. Yeah, you, you, that's that's it is common. It is common. People wear wigs in Mexico. People people do wear wigs in Mexico, is but it's not not common. It's not common as as here. You know, uh, females wear wigs in Mexico, but it's not common to especially to be taking it on and off. I've never in my life, and you know, I lived uh, a couple of years in Mexico. I've never in my life um, saw uh, females out in the street or or even when, when I was hanging out, putting on and off, you know, their wig. I did know of females that were, went out, you know, were hanging out. I was chilling with them, going to the clubs, and they were wear, wearing wig. But it's not common, you know, uh, that is it's not common in Mexico. We don't we don't see that, at least when I lived over there. So for the people trying to make it a, a hey, man, you know, they're, they're, they're uh, transgender, uh, uh, transphobic or homophobic. Uh, now, can there be like some some homophobics over there in mexico i don't know you know maybe yeah there's always fucked up people everywhere but they were not trying to be transphobic and be make fun because i don't see anything fun about about this case you know and then them, them trying to like make a jokes out of like this oh you know she was this or he was this you know and be funny it, it just don't, doesn't Makes sense. Why would they want to make 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 jokes while this case is is somebody died? You know, somebody somebody died. This is crazy. So I'm just covering this because somebody brought it to the in the chat and also too because I wanted to cover because I need some people to step back and, and chill. You know, chill with the oh oh you know trying to like don't focus on on, on what we're supposed to focus here and that's you know Shanquella Robinson's just so but yeah so yeah that's what they were saying. And and another thing, I, okay, I gotta add on to this. I don't know about you guys, but the way, the, I mean, the strength that she had, or we could be seen when she was beating up Shanquela, I was like, this doesn't look like. I mean, she looks very strong, you know, for 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 a female. And I'm not saying, you know, all uh, women out there are weak. You know, they're not. You know, I watch a lot of MMA fights, and I respect a lot of the, these MMA fighters. Uh, and I'm damn, there's some that will kick, you know, some people's ass. So, but the way she's punching her, pulling her, dragging her, and throwing her in the ground, I'm like, you know, Dude, can you at least fight back? At least something. At least fight back, something. I hope, I hope they they arrest this guy that didn't do shit. That's another thing. That's another thing that I I don't understand how how this dude is seeing the Janae beat up so badly, pull, drag, and you know slam Shanquilla like People that on, on the nowadays on the floor. And, and dude, you know what I mean? I, I understand like oh yo, yo, you know they gotta get down or okay, you know it's one on one, but. Okay, the moment you see somebody, especially that kick, uh, you can't see it here on the video, but that's a no-no. That's a negative. You're going to be like, yo, yo, nah, you ain't even going to be like, chill. You're going to be like, you know, get that person out of that other person's ass. Because, dude, no, no. I mean, that right there, that kick, you can kick, you can kill somebody. That's that's a for sure. A kick to the head. That's so that's that was that. I, I really hope, you know, there's just as soon. My message to all the people out there, my message to all the people out there is that, especially the people asking, like, well, how come we don't hear nothing? How come we don't hear anything on the news? How come we don't, you know, just the, the order is out there for the, their arrest, you know, to get detained with the FBI. But once they get detained by the FBI and whatever, and then uh, they get captured, the news maybe is going to say something. Maybe they're going to be like, okay, you know, we got, we got the suspects and this and that. And then, but then they're going to send them down to Mexico. Now, Mexico, it's a, it's a trip. It's another thing over there because i don't think i don't think the way the way we see here the media cover and we get updates i don't think in mexico uh, they update like that much May, but maybe that's that's for for cases for for the people down in mexico maybe this is an international case so maybe they are gonna they are gonna give updates and, and they are gonna give updates and, and tell the people what's going on but there's a lot of people impatient there we are not gonna see you know we're not gonna see them or hear from them getting arrested until for a while now um a lot of people were mad were pissed off at the at the uh mexican reporter no because the chin. Yes. because um the reporter gave an update on his Twitter and Gerardo Suñiga and said that De Janay was arrested. You know that De Janay was was uh, was arrested and and then later on, you know, they were all like, "Wait a minute, you know, how is she arrested?" Uh, I think the next day, the following day, uh, he took down the article and then it said later on, "Oh, well, 
Uh, it's not co uh, confirmed that, you know, um, it's not official that she's arrested. And that's the thing, uh, even including himself, that that um, reporter from Mexico got too happy. You know, everybody wants to be the first one. Everybody wants to be that has the latest, hottest, you know. They want to be the first ones right away to report. And it's like, nah, man, you guys got to calm down. You guys got to calm, calm, calm your tits and uh, wait for the real news. Some people are saying, well, you know, we need some real people to go down there and this and that. Yeah, we need, we need, we need, right? We need, we need, we need. But, I mean, if you really guys need somebody to go down there, it starts with you. You know, go down there. It's not easy. It's not easy. Now, I'm going to let you guys know uh, because once you go down there, it's a whole different world. It's a whole different world, you know, uh, especially if you don't speak the language. Um, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be difficult, but it's going to, you know, it's not easy. It's not not easy. And once you get down there, what are you going to do? You're going to go and go to, to the police department, you know, and, and talk to them, get to find out. You're going to hear the same thing because everything, everything that the people, the public could know or find out or the police, you know, authorities wanted us to know it's out there. That's it. That's about it. So I think, I think that Janae, I think they have her. Uh, I think she's, she's arrested. Now that's what, this is what I, um, and we're not going to hear anything. We're not going to hear, especially, I mean, especially if they don't want, cause, uh, let's say they, they get somebody, they arrest one person. They don't want the rest of the people, other, other, other friends or so-called friends to know somebody got arrested because they're going to be like oh well maybe oh man they're going to snitch he's going to snitch so they don't want them to you know be panicking or trying to get away now one thing i wanted to mention to you guys you know that saying you know that saying if you want to hide something the best place to hide it is in front of the person's face have you guys heard that i, I don't think i'm saying the, the the saying correctly but it goes something like that right if you're trying to find if you're trying to hide something from someone the best place to hide it from uh hide it it's in front of their face. So I think if these people are not arrested, these people, I think maybe they might be in Mexico. I think if these these if these people escaped and they're not in the authorities, FBI, FBI's hand, they might be down in Mexico. I was thinking I was thinking uh, Canada. I was thinking Canada. Maybe Canada could be the other spot. But oh, Canada, yes, Garcia, I hope that they catch the rest of Canada. I mean, I think it's more alert right like with uh, uh trying to see like maybe the pictures and this and that but mexico i mean you can cross easily you know you can cross it's uh i wouldn't doubt man if if maybe they're they're somewhere down 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 in mexico another reason why i think maybe they might be hiding down in mexico is because um even though mexico requested the u.s for them to be uh sent back down to mexico or to be arrested and sent down back to mexico even though they, they requested that from the FBI, there is no there is no arrest uh, warrant in Mexico. There's no very very few uh, news outlets uh, speaking about this this case. You know, there's there's no no there's no Televisa, there's no uh, Canal Azteca, there's um I don't even know what other channels, but they're not they're not talking about this case. And remember that this case this crime was done in in Mexico. So the the TV news uh, uh, you know outlets down there they're not they're not um, putting pictures yes. out in the in, in tv or or, or or put it out like you know uh posters they're not not talking another thing too which is sad i'm gonna go back and look in the fbi's website but i haven't seen these uh they call them the cobble six you know which were the the people that are suspected allegedly i gotta use those words as you guys know so i won't get, get in trouble you know sued or whatever but uh some people are gonna say no they're, they're you know they're the killers you know i can't say that but they're not even they're not even on the FBI's uh website. These Cabo Six, they're not. It's 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 fucked up. It's it, this case is is fucked up. It's fucked up, you know. It's uh it's sad, you know. Uh, especially I mean my my heart goes out to the mother of Shinquela, the father and the family. Uh, my condolence. My heart goes out to you guys cuz you guys got to be going through a lot, especially when you guys want to be to know what's going on, want to hear the truth. Messed up. Just imagine, you know, this thing happened to you, to you, and you hear, oh, they, so she got arrested, or one of the the, the friends got arrested. That's gonna be making my heart just go crazy, right? So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, man. Uh, I, I really appreciate you guys. I know I got, I'm getting like really into this because because I'm, I'm into in, like so. I'm even frustrated, man. I'm like, but I'm frustrated not only because anger, uh, uh, the whole situation, but because the authorities here. I don't here, think they're in Mexico because they went home and they went to her house to tell the parents that she died of alcohol poisoning. I don't think they're in Mexico. No, well, Do they got her friends' names at least. Yeah, they got, they got, it's supposed to be six of them. You know, 
Well, I hope they're not that they're not down in Mexico because if they are down in Mexico, maybe that could be their, their little little out. And I was thinking like too, like oh no, but Ray, how could they be down in Mexico? How are they going to make money? But I was thinking, you know, with uh, uh, nowadays people working from from their house or their home or whatever uh, yes, through their phones their or computer, house. they can um, they can work like that, you know. No, no, Ray, but they can't put their business, you know, under their name. It's true. It's true. But what about what about if they are they have the business and they change it to under uh, one of the relatives. So now, you know, the relative is the owner of this of this business, online business, and they're running it from over there with their phones and they get money sent through Western Union. You know, you guys know ways that way, you know, to send it down, down, down to Mexico. So that's just my speculation. Maybe not, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not right always, but um, I thought it's good. It's something good to, to share. So that way, also, too, people could be in the uh, look, you know, be looking around, you know, for 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 the friends. But it's very sad. So let's go 